Hey guys, I wasn't able to get our subscribe function to work with uh, async code getting fetching our channel and member before subscribing. So I'm just gonna leave it for now and then come back to it if I figure it out. Now, if you really want to get this to work, you can do the authentication and the on connect and the fetching of the user and uh, making sure they're on the team. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it and come back to it. And what I wanna work on now is sending direct messages because I should see a list of my team members here or I should be able to direct message Slack bot and user one and chat with them. So that's what we're gonna be adding. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, another model. So we already have a message model, so I could have put it here, but I figured it'd be easier to just create a separate model to, to keep them separate because we don't have a channel ID um, It's um, with our direct message, it's slightly different. So let's create a new one called direct message.js and I don't know if I want to camel case this or what. Let's just call it, that. let's just say direct message like that. I didn't know how to, um, since this model has two words in it, how to capitalize it. We'll just do it like that. So I'm gonna paste this stuff in here. So we're gonna have a text. So this is gonna be direct message. And I'm gonna use uh, an underscore for the uh, table name. And then we're gonna have text just like before. And let's change, oops, change that to direct message. All right. So now direct message belongs to a user and there's gonna be a to and a from. So name to, and we don't really need to camel case this since it's only one word. So get rid of that, oops. And same thing here, and but this is going to be a from. Okay, so here is the user who sent the message. Here is the user that it's sent to. So, for example, Bob three would be from. If he was sending a message to Bob four, and two would be the receiver of the message. Um, and we could even make this more clear by saying sender and receiver. So we have a message. We have someone who sent it and the receiver of the message. So that's our new model. Now, because we made this um, change, since this is a totally new uh, table, I believe SQLize will create the table for us. We don't have to um, drop the database or anything, but we'll check the database to double check and make sure. So I'm gonna say direct message, and we're just gonna import that. All right, give that a save. Now I'm gonna come over here and type psql and connect to our Slack. And I'm just gonna look, looks like everything built okay. And I'm gonna describe the direct message. All right, so direct messages has text and has a sender and receiver, perfect. So it added our table, okay. So as long as the, the model hasn't existed before, it's okay to make changes and it'll, you don't have to drop everything. So now in our schema over here, we can create a new one called direct messages.js and we're just gonna export default. And so we're gonna have a query type query and type mutation. So we're gonna create um, direct message and this should return a direct message so type and we should actually just kind of copy how we're doing this for message because it's going to be the exact same thing so I'll paste that in here all right so direct message it's going to have an ID text it's going to be a sender who's a user and there's going to be a receiver who's a user and I think we only really need the um, the, the receiver, just the user ID of the receiver. So I'm gonna make this an int. Um, so this is really the receiver uh, ID, but we're just gonna call it receiver so it matches with our database. And then sender, I think we're actually gonna need to get the, um, the ID for it. And actually in our database, 
Oh, we already made the database, so we'd have to drop it. We should really call this receiver ID. Yeah, why don't we do that? So now I need to make it. This makes it's better. It's better type wise to call this name this a receiver. Receiver ID, and we'll do the same thing here. Sorry, I, I, now we have to drop the database um, name field, but there's not really any important data in there anyway. Okay, so now in our in our schema over here, we can say receiver ID when we actually need the sender. Okay, we weren't worried about subscriptions at first, but we will need to add them. Um, we're gonna just call this direct messages given a so. They get the direct messages. We really just need the uh, receiver ID because we know the sender ID because that's who you are. Or should we actually we should get the direct messages based on who the yeah who the receiver is and the receiver should be you. So actually we don't need to pass in any parameters. To our direct messages, we're basically just going to ever get the direct messages um, for you as a user. Okay. So, and then we're going to return direct message, an array of direct messages. All right, and then here is our create message. This is going to be create direct message. And now we don't care about the channel ID. It's going to be uh, receiver ID and then text and then we'll return a boolean okay I think this looks good for our back end let's start working on our front end so on our client we have a message container over here now our message container can either take a right now it's taking a channel ID and it's fetching the messages for the channel so we kinda wanna reuse this because we basically want the same code um, let's just I see some errors. I want to make sure the WebSocket's still going. Okay, cool. Uh, we want to reuse this component here, um, but when I click on a user, for example, a user one, we're not going to have a channel ID. So I think we're going to have to change the URL, have a separate URL for this, and then grab the user ID. So I'm going to create a separate route here first in our index. So this will be a private route kind of like how this we're gonna have basically a user who you can chat with um, so we're gonna say it's gonna be an extension of view team we'll say so view team and actually we need to match this above so this is gonna be a user and we're gonna be looking for the team ID so we need the team ID and the URL and then so we know which actually I think we need to change that in our um, back-end code as well because a direct message we need to know which team they're part of as well so let's add one more so models.team and we're gonna call this team ID okay so the direct message it happens within a team between two users so we just add that on and we're gonna have to drop this database in a second we need to do force true so actually let's just do that right now before I forget so at the bottom force true give that a save and then I'm gonna get rid of it and then I'm gonna wait for this to restart cool and then give it a save without it okay so back over here so we need a team ID and then we need um, the we have the receiver ID we need to have basically the other user so we're just gonna call this user ID and a team ID is mandatory and a user ID is mandatory we need to have both of those things to know how to fetch the uh, messages all right, so we're still gonna, still gonna show the view team uh, component, but now we're gonna have a, ooh, this should have a colon here. 
but now we know we have a user ID and a team ID. Okay. So now in our view team component, I actually don't know if this will work, we'll have to see. We'll have a third prop. So params, we have a team ID, a channel ID, and a user ID. So first we'll check if we're loading, because if we're loading, we don't want to do anything. Then we're going to check if we have a user ID. Because if we have a user ID, we don't want to display some things. And you know what? I actually think this will be easiest if we make a new component now that I think of it. Because I think mashing it in here, we're going to overcomplicate things than we need to be. So let's just create a totally new route called uh, direct message js we'll say direct messages js and i'm actually just going to copy view team because a lot of view team we're going to be using oh and we can get rid of this other props too so copy view team paste into direct messages and then our route over here we're going to say direct messages is the component and we just need to import that copy that so direct messages. And then over here, so we're gonna have a user ID. So because we don't have a channel ID, we don't have to open up a channel. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And maybe in this particular one, so we have a me query that we're grabbing and yeah, no, this is fine. We're just not gonna open. We're not gonna select a channel to be open. So close that, close that, close that. So here we're only displaying if we have a channel. We can get rid of that. So on this page, oops, we're gonna show always. All right. So now. We need to think about how we want to do this. So our send message um, is also basically hard coded to expect a channel name and a channel ID. And let's see, this is going to be our send message. So I think what we should do is actually move up our responsibilities. So right now we have um, basically hard coded that send message here is going to basically create a message to a channel. And instead, I want to move this up. So instead, I'm going to basically in my send message here, I'm going to pass a submit. And actually, instead of channel channel name we're gonna pass in um, placeholder right we'll comment these out for now so send message I wanted to say on submit so on submit for send message we call this create mutation so I'm gonna move that over and actually call it here that way we can reuse the send message across both components and now the placeholder here we're just going to show the current the user ID I guess for now that's a really bad placeholder oops we should show something better like that user's name or something all right so in our send message here I'm gonna take away this this guy and I'm gonna put it here so from GraphQL I'm gonna grab compose because we're gonna compose these two guys together so I'm going to say compose and compose just wraps all the queries here so I'm going to grab that kind of how we were doing here and I'm going to paste that in here and now we don't need compose here there we go and I think I, I killed one thing I think we don't need that one get rid of the comma um, 
think it, we're just getting an error because yeah, indention. So if I move this up, should be good. Yeah. Now I'm gonna move this guy over here as well. So that's our mutation that we want to run. Except we don't want to run create message. We want to run create direct message, and that's what we're gonna be changing. So the rest we can pretty much um, keep the same. Just instead of running mutate here, we're going to say await, and then we're going to call the on submit function. So on submit, and on submit is what we pass in our direct message here. So on submit, on submit, and we just need to pass in the values. Which values, I'm actually just going to send values.message so it has the text that it wants to send. Okay, so over here, we need to handle this now. Now, I actually want to fix view team first. So now, this guy is going to handle the submission. So instead of passing in a channel name, we're going to say placeholder. And then over here, I'm going to say placeholder and change that here. So now it's generic. And I'm just going to copy this mutation because this is the mutation we want to run over here. And I'm going to compose like I was over there. All right. And we're just going to run that query or that mutation. So you can have multiple GraphQLs on the same component like we're doing here. And we just need to do a comma here. So now instead of passing the channel ID in here, I'm gonna create an odd submit. And what this function is gonna do is it's gonna take text and all it's gonna do is it now has a mutate prop itself. So up here, I can say mutate. And I'm going to call mutate. And this is going to be an async function. And I'm just going to return. We can return or we can just await the mutate. And we're going to pass in variables. Our text is going to be the text we get here. And then the channel ID is going to be channel.id. And that's what we are passing here. All right. And then what's wrong with our GQL? Oh, we just need to define it, which I believe, where are we getting GQL from? Paste that over here. So now we're basically taking away GraphQL from this, and we can get rid of that. So this is a generic component now, and we can take that away. So now my direct messages and my view, t view team component can use it. Now, we made a lot of changes. Let's import GQL from GraphQL tag. Let's make sure this component still works how we expect it to. So now we're gonna be, uh, whenever we submit, we call this on submit function in our component and then we mutate here. So now we're gonna run a different mutation in our direct messages over here. Um, for now, I'm just gonna say that and we'll come back to it put a comma there as well. So we're going to come back and fix direct messages. I just want to see if we broke absolutely everything. So I'm going to come register and create a new user. Okay, so bob at bob.com and copy that down. All right, so we were able to create a new user. Now let's log in with this guy. Bam, bam, and let's create a team. All right, and if I go over to view team, we should get redirected to this. Good. So now I'm going to say uh, team one and create that. Cool. And we see team one here. Everything created okay. Now I should be able to type a message. Hello, hit enter. And notice it works exactly the same way as before. Um, which is perfect. We just moved 
the on submit like I showed you. So now enter direct message over here. And what we'll do continue in the next video is our on submit here. Instead of calling this create message mutation, we can call create direct message mutation. So that's it for this video, guys. I'll push up the code and we'll complete our direct message um, tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.